Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will see how we can plot um, 3D, uh, in particular 3D graphs. We have bar and pie graph in here and how we can plot in our lab view. So let's just place a bar graph first. So after placing bar graph on front panel, let's just go on to the block diagram and here we can program it. So again, we have a choice, a polymorphic VI selector that tells us either you want to go as a matrix or as a vector. So first we will see a vector form of this 3D bar graph. So to show the vector form, again, we again place a for loop. Here is our X and Y and Z vectors basically. So I'll let's just suppose that we have a class of 10 people. And we, they have some random numbers they have uh, taken let's say <clears throat> they have random score so I'll just connect the output of my terminal in here as y vector and the output of the random score is connected to z vector in here so now if I run my program as you can see in here those for 10 people uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 people a random number a random score is um, uh, is given to them we can change its color to green or we can change its color to blue as well similarly we can change its 3d plot properties as our background color and the background color could be green or anything so i'll just go with the light green and we can change its perspective view like this it will be more clear and it will look more nice but again we can change its 3d plot properties let's say orthographic so again the other formats of the uh, the 3d graphs i have discussed in the previous video that you can see from the uh, link that is given in this description so if we have oh, let's just change it to perspective to orthographic and let's just press ok so what if we have we want to show as in the form of 3d so let's just say as a matrix as in the matrix form this is our y vector and this will be our random score for the let's say whole class so that will be connected in here now it demands a z matrix so let's just go on the front panel and now if we run a uh, 10 basically nine uh, bars are created that shows it has it means that it is creating um, the whole class or you can assume that there are different classes so this will be our first class second class third class and there are 10 people in each class so it is showing me the 3d graph in here so let's just <coughs> reduce this to five people and now let's just see what it is creating so now it is more appropriate I can change the color black and run again so that's the colors that is it's showing and similarly you can change its colors to let's say this one so this this is the trend that is being shown in the form of 3d graph so now let's just move on to our next graph which is our pi graph in here so in pi graph what we can do is we can generate pi graph for by creating another for loop so again we have a different methods first method is vector in which it demands the x vector and the offset vector so let's just first go with our let's say i have five and its random number generator will be generating some values between zero to ten 
so again i will connect it with my x vector without applying any offset vector so let's just see what kind of pie graph we will be generating so a y a pie graph with percentage is being shown in here and we can again we can change its colors so it is 13 percent 26 percent 35 percent and there is a zero percent also since we have one two three four and five here one two three four colors are available so again a zero percent again now we have total five colors since it's a random number generated so it will generate from let's say one to ten percent so so there is a 33 percent and three percent 27 percent seven percent thirty percent uh, pie graph is generated again we can just place its offset vector as create a constant either we can create a constant or either we can go with let's just say I want to separate them by one so I will just connect it in here and now if I run my program it is separated by one throughout these this pie graph